Welcome uh, to New Community Corporation Connecting You to Resources. My name is Rodney Bruton. I serve as your host, and I am also the Director of Workforce Development for New Community Workforce Development Center. Today we're joined by our culinary arts classroom instructor, Mr. Shah, who will join us to tell us a little bit about the program, the classroom instruction, and work we do. So welcome. Welcome, Mr. Shah. Thank you, sir. It's a Great. pleasure being here. Great. So why don't you tell us, the audience, a little about our culinary arts program, uh, the kind of work we do, do as a classroom instructor, and, and your role within the, the program. Well, we're not just in the classroom. We are in two parts. We're in the kitchen half the day, and then we're in the classroom the other half. Now, that classroom instructions also carries forth to home. So we cook in the kitchen you'll have cooking instructions in the classroom and you will also do homework and cooking of course at home Correct. so the, the the classroom the theory aspects of color culinary arts food safety what are some of the areas we we cover you know safety sanitation well, we start uh, you'll start at safety sanitation you'll go from safety sanitation to soups broths to making recipes to menus full menus uh, you will carry forth with cooking in the actual kitchen. There's instructions on, and, and some people may think that, well, cooking is just cooking in the kitchen. It isn't, because you need to know how to measure everything. A head chef may say, hey, look, I need so many ounces of this or so many gallons of that, but you need to know how to fix everything. You need to know math. So we cover everything, again, from soups to broth to again learning the the academic portion of, of what goes into cooking which is you need to know math and and science sure sure so it's not just uh, people think that hey look you just go into the kitchen and cook well you have to know the difference again between a, a vegetable and a fruit and many of us don't know the difference between a vegetable and fruit so we teach the whole gamut great great and, and that's exactly the combination of both classroom theory and the hands-on practical aspects of the program. Uh, when you look at some of the certification, what is the industry recognized credential offered through our program? So one of the things we offer is, uh, of course, at the end of our program, you will receive, co upon completion, a diploma. But we offer one of the things that every store or every restaurant has to have, which is a, it's called a Serve Safe. Now, it's, it's a rigorous course. In fact, we do a two-week training session, and that's about four hours per day. And at the end of that, we have an instructor come in or someone come in and proctor an actual test where you have to pass with at least a 75. You need that, and every store needs that in order to operate. So many of us are going to restaurants. You may not see it there, but you need that actual serve safe certificate, and it's the manager serve, day, that's serve safe. It's not... It's not a what they call a food handlers. It's the manager to serve safe in order to make it through. In in terms of and a very good point, the the program itself. We talked about the the theory, the classroom, the hands on, the practical, the industry recognized credential, the certification, and serve safe. One of the other aspects we offer is a bit of entrepreneurship. We we work with our students, and they are asked to develop a business plan if they were given a seed money to start a restaurant. Walk so us through what what, what we, we do is we you must complete a business section. So we will be a bank example and we will give you $20,000. Now you have to, you must spend that $20,000. So the bank wants to know exactly what you're doing with it. So you have to put together how many employees you have. What are you going to spend on say essentials in terms of food? What do you spend on your pots, your pans. So you have to put the whole thing together and what you're going to do. What's the name of the business? Where is the location going to be? That $20,000 is a startup. So you have to take from that point. So you start the business up with $20,000. Then you have to start working from profits. So what we've done also is that we set up a, a sort of a mock business where the big business actually works. So we serve what we we do a continental breakfast now our continental breakfast will manage will make maybe sixty to seventy five dollars per day calculate five that's five days a week you're in the course for six months six months times those five days and you see what you come out with right. so and that's a good point as part of the the business plan and the business model that we 
walk our students throughout the program. So in addition to um, the work we do in the classroom and the kitchen, we also have uh, our two hands-on instructional staff, Mr. Uh, Mr. Absolutely. Butler and Mr. Gaddy. So share a little about that experience between, so of between the two. Of course they're in the, of course they're in the kitchen. Well, they're in the classroom half today, and that's the academic portion, but then they're in the actual kitchen with uh, the chefs, uh, Mr. Butler and uh, Mr. Gotti, the other half. So they do, again, they prepare everything, which is, from, as I said before, from soups to salads. Uh, they serve those soups, salads, and entrees. They make those soups, salads, and entrees themselves. The students are responsible for not just the cooking, but they make the menu. They do the entire gamut. Right. which is amazing. And then one of the other points that's really important to the work we do um, is job placement, working with employers to get our students jobs in the food service, hospital hospitality, and as cooks. How important is that as an instructor, oh. and how much do you emphasize that? Well, that's super important, and we're, we're at a plus with that because right now we're, our, some of our students are out actually at internships, and they're interviewing for different positions. So our, right now we're actually bartering for those different students. We have one student who's been accepted to two positions, so she has a, a choice of where she wants to go, and we can sort of barter in terms of upping the scale right now for her for her, her salary, because she does have that industry-recognized uh, credential, credential mm -hmm. which is the serve safe, so she can ask her a little bit more in terms of uh, salary. Yep. So thank you, thank you, Mr. Shah, for My sharing uh, the role that you have with our culinary arts program. And as we talk a lot about the work we do and, and uh, with our culinary arts program, we encourage those who are interested to, again, visit New Community's website at www.newcommunity.org or contact us uh, directly at 973-824-6484. And you're welcome to visit our office, which is located at 274 South on Javano Main Street. Uh, South on, uh, 274 South Orange Avenue here in Newark, excuse me. The other sort of point I would sort of reference is we have a culinary cafe uh, that's open to the public that provides a hot and well-served meal each day. Um, we welcome our friends and guests to visit our cafe and the meals are prepared uh, by our culinary students at a very reasonable price. All of the work we do is connected to employers and we're doing all that we can to not only give our students the skills and training but also the necessary re need, uh, skills needed to uh, get a job and retain a job. So for those who are interested, please, we encourage you again to visit our website at www.newcommunity.org. We're recruiting candidates for our next session, and we cannot wait to get good quality students in our culinary arts program. Thank you. Thank you again.